Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction. And today we're gonna be looking at a saw of mine that is one of my favorite. This is the 12 inch Bosch GCM 12 SD. This thing has been around for at least five years now. Um, and it's still at the top of its game. It's one of the top contenders for just a quality of saw, uh, quality of cut, um, all those types of things. It's, it's right up there with, I'd say the Festool. So let's take a close look at some of the different features on this saw. Um, it is a 12 inch. So that makes it a big saw. It makes it the biggest saw actually. It is probably the only thing I don't like about it is that it's big and heavy and this isn't a saw you want to be packing around every single day. Um, other than that, it is my favorite. So the great thing about this saw is the glide system on it. When this came out, this was such a game changer for saws. Just getting rid of the, uh, the rail system is, is huge for me. Um, I like to keep this in my trailer or, or in my shop or whatever, but just having the fact that you can have it close to the wall makes a huge difference. So it's nice and compact, but also just the gliding, the slide of this saw, you could just do it with a finger. See, I'm barely pushing it. Whereas a lot of the, the rail uh, design designs are, are a little, I find them to be a little grindy, so they're just a little harder to, to push around. So that is by far the best function for me on this saw. Um, now you can use it as a slider, or you can just lock it in and it can just be a straight chop. Uh, so some of the other features here, the fence is about four and three eighths high. And on the side we have the levers that you can adjust them. So both sides fully adjust. They also come off if you want to take them off. Um, right here, you've got another lever that extends this out. Mine's actually just caught. There we go. And that extends and it does that on both sides. Just like that. So pretty sweet. Extra material can be held there. Um, I really like this feature. A lot of saws don't have that, or if they do, it's an add on. So this is a really nice feature to have. You can put in a stop on the side here. There's a screw hole and there's a little, uh, metal bracket that kind of flips up. I think I've lost mine, but it screws on right here. And so you can have a positive stop. You just lock this in and then you can do your repetitive cuts. So that's a pretty sweet function to have if you're doing you know, small trim work and you need to do a lot of cuts the same size. This right here is actually the handle. So when these are closed, that's where you grab underneath to carry the saw. So that's a nice feature. Now come around to the front to adjust the table itself. You just have to pinch this lever underneath and then you can rotate the saw. It has tons of positive stops on here, which are great. And then you can just tighten it down and you're good to go. One thing I always check when you're, when you're buying a saw is put it on like 15 degrees or any of the positive stops and then lock it in place and see if you can move it. You shouldn't be able to move it. And this one I can't. Another test is take it out of a positive stop and put it in just a random location, lock it down and try and move it again. And you should not be able to move it. So that's a test I always do. And there are certain saws out there. There's a brand I'm not going to mention, but they always move. They always move and I've never liked them and I've never bought one. Um, but they are a good product. They just can't seem to get that that tightening function down. Bosch definitely has nailed that. Now, another function I love about this saw, when you're using a 12 inch uh, miter saw, a big problem is a lot of the saws, you have to reach around the back to undo um, your bevel. 
and with this saw it's all at the front and because it's so long you would not want to have to reach around to the back so to do the bevel they've got this lever at the front here and you just pull it up and now you can bevel to the left just like that so if you want to bevel to the right it's very easy to do uh, if you're at zero you just take it to the left just a degree or so and you just turn this lever hold it down and that will allow you to bevel to the right just like so so it's very very easy and then that locks back in place this i love this function of the saw and then you just lock it in place where you want to be um there's all kinds of other functions on here like back here this knob if you turn this place it here this is for cutting crown molding so again you just it'll lock you in a positive stop right there at 32 degrees and then take it out pull that forward so that's pretty sweet and that works both ways changing the blades on this saw are extremely easy there's a allen key storage at the back right here right there and to change the blades you basically have to unscrew this and you unscrew this screw right here two turns and this screw about six turns and then this piece will fit onto the screw and will hold this guide up and then you can take the blade off or you can just undo all these three and this whole assembly will come right off and then you can change the blade and on this side this is your positive stop so it'll hold your blade while you put the the allen key onto it another cool function is this right here um, so to get full depth of cut this screw if you can see this this screw goes in between this slot so that's full depth of cut but if you want to be doing some sort of dadoing or a limited depth of cut you just pull this out and then you can set it with this screw so you're only cutting halfway through your board or a quarter of the way whatever you want to do so you can just preset it with this screw then when you want to go back to full depth just push that in and now you can go all the way so that's another cool function um, you know if you're day doing rabbiting you just have to clean something up like that that's a really cool function to have uh, the blade or the handle up here is nice for lefties and righties if you're a righty you use your thumb to hold the lock down and then pull the trigger and if you're a lefty you can go like this so it works for both hands which is a nice feature and the dust collection on this is actually not that bad it's not the greatest but it's not that bad it's got a rubber flap back here and it comes with a bag which I never use um, I'm always using the Festool vacuum and I'll just demonstrate that it's another reason why I love these hoses I've said it in other videos before but this just fits right in here and it's it's perfect it will not come out moves around and a lot of the times what I will do I'll just turn this off for you a lot of the times you just just zip tie the hose right here so that you can move around and the hose if the hose is dragging then it starts to wear here it might get caught it might come undone but if you zip tie it to the back then you're good to go so these hoses are just amazing as I've always said they just push right in and and you're awesome you're just ready to rock so like I said this saw is super heavy um another thing at the back here more features there's a little allen key set and if you don't want this to slide as easily i don't know why you wouldn't but this will this is like a tension screw and essentially will tighten up the slide on this or the glide i should say now i've never had to use that because i really like how 
you know, nice and easy and buttery this is. So I think what we'll do now is we'll just cut a couple pieces of wood and just sort of demonstrate uh, the decibel level on this and just how easy it is to, to cut some wood. And yeah, bring it around. Right now I've got the DeWalt uh, mounts on here for the DeWalt stands. I pretty much use the DeWalt stands for all my saws. So what I'll do is I'm going to turn on the vacuum and I'm going to cut a piece of oak. So it's really good suction right here. So pretty nice cut. This blade's a little bit old, but still producing a, a nice cut. So you can go up high like this. We'll take it to a an angle cut. Now I'll just demonstrate cutting without the dust collector. This blade's pretty bad, you see the amount of tear out I'm getting. So this is an old blade. But this will show you how much sawdust we get without the dust collection. So quite a bit. That's why I always love the dust collector. So there we have it guys. It's my favorite saw. Um, portability. It's not the greatest, but for quality of cut, for just the ease of use, I love this saw. Um, I've had a lot of different saws over the years. The only other one that I could say would compare would have been like an old 10 inch Hitachi that was probably from, I don't know, 15 years ago. That was a great saw too. But otherwise, this is my go-to. I love it. I got to recommend it. Um, I think the 10-inch might be better for portability. And maybe one day I'll grab one of those as well. But for now, I'm with the 12-inch. I love it. And I'd love to hear your comments. So please leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe. Hit that notify bell. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.